Shalom and many blessings to you. Apostle Regina Claxton here, and I want to encourage you to begin or to continue with inreach. Inreach because you're already in the community, you're planted there as a place of worship or as a business or as an entrepreneur or even as a resident. Do great things in your zip code. Fill a need, meet a need, fill a void, fill a niche, be a great witness. Get lit for God. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 and 16 and verse 14, Yeshua said, you are the light of the world. So you and me, we are light as believers. Verse 16 in the Message Bible reads like this. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, do you not think I'm going to hide you under a bucket? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I've put you there on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous Father in heaven. Get lit. Let the zeal of the Lord burn within you like a fire so that you can't help but share a testimony. You can't help but offer a prayer for somebody. You can't help but release your faith in place for somebody or to agree with someone. There are answers to prayer. God answers prayer. He delivers out of affliction. He heals the sick. Hallelujah. There isn't anything too hard for God. There isn't anything impossible for him. He just needs available people. If you are willing and if you are able, contact me at Regina Claxton Ministries at gmail.com and I'll be happy to assist you as a consultant or as a contractor to brainstorm with your ideas or to help you develop a vision and even to build a team to do in reach in the neighborhood and among the zip code where you now occupy. The Lord has need for us. We are lit for a purpose. We are light for a purpose and that is God's plan and purpose to reach the lost and to see so many, as many as would be saved and born again. I want to share a testimony with you. I was in Publix and it's a supermarket that we have in the South. And upon approaching a counter to place an order, I looked at the woman behind the counter and immediately the left side of my body from the shoulder all the way down began to be racked with pain and I couldn't ignore it. So I looked at her and I asked her, was she in pain? And she said, yes. And I said, well, I need to pray for you. And she closed her eyes right there and the Ruach HaKadosh began to pray and pray. And we didn't stop until he was finished. Hallelujah. And the pain it left my body. Hallelujah. And the woman was healed. When I saw her again, she was walking fast fast through the store. Her posture had changed. Her back had become erect. She looked uh, really strong and even her in her face, she looked well. Those are the type of encounters and experiences that you will have if you open yourself up into some place like a supermarket or a post office or where you're running an errand or in a pharmacy or Walgreens or a CNN. I don't know, anywhere where you freaking and you open yourself up to the movement of the Holy Spirit, you'll see signs, wonders, and miracles. You'll see the supernatural, the wonderful, the marvelous, and the great. When you make room in you, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, will create room on the outside of you and others will be touched. People will be saved. They will be filled and indwelled by Ruach HaKadosh. Make yourself available. Be generous. Be open. Be transparent. Get lit for God. Get lit for God. Be that light. I can help you do it. I have the experience. I have the expertise. I have the education. And I'm an anointed woman of God. Email me at Regina Claxton Ministries at gmail.com and let's get started. Whether you want to create or increase a budget, whatever it is, I'm here to be your consultant or you can contract me for work. Get lit. Matthew 5, 14 and 16. Let it speak to you. The Lord bless you and we'll see you here next week. God willing. Be well.